Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. The crypto market is heavily selling off. Is this all because of a meme coin that skyrocketed over the past few days? Sometimes when we have this kind of action, it is a signal of a top. What does this mean for us going forward? How can we take advantage of it? And what can you learn from this experience? Something that I have been warning about for a while and people that watch the videos religiously will know this, what I'm going to talk about. Um, but the people that just pop in for the clickbait videos, <laughs> uh, I do that on purpose sometimes just to, to, to test you guys. <laughs> um, they will not know what I'm talking about and they're probably not going to see this video as well. It's I kind of reference it to somebody that going to the gym uh, once a month and is anticipating to be all buff right and muscular that's not going to happen same thing here if you're only slightly interested in trading and the crypto market and you just dabble it in a little bit right you're not going to be successful and also the people that watch the channel and don't watch religiously it's a, what can i say you're, <laughs> you're gonna miss out on all of my wisdom right <laughs> all my wisdom right <laughs> Of course, I don't think I'm a, a wise uh, guru, uh, but I do have experience and I like to share it with you guys. And I hope that I see from the comments, a lot of you saying you're learning a lot. So I'm really happy about that. Of course, there's the meme comments, people saying, well, I, this video was useless and things like that. I, I brush off my shoulder, right? Um, but listen, you know, you, know the, you know the spiel, right? The likes will help the price of Shiba Inu going up. You're not doing a good enough job. If you want it to go up, you got to smash the like button. At least, you know what? Let's let's be ambitious here. Let's get 3,000 likes on this video. Let's see if it helps. Let's make a, you know, a, a, what's it called? A experiment. <laughs> Beautiful smile. Send out the good, good vibes. I know things are going down. That's why I'm trying to be a little bit extra funny to get the, the mood up. <laughs> Smishity smash that like button before I was doing a, a clown, a show for my kids. And they said I was very funny. So uh, I don't know, right? Maybe it's a, it's a second calling <laughs> to be a clown. And uh, now let's do the Shiba Shay. <laughs> So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0 0.402541, down 15%. Ay caramba, right? But it, for now, right, <laughs> it more or less has stopped in this area, which was uh, the area that uh, it's it's not really stopping here, but um, I, I charted it out for a potential uh, stop area. This was the area that we stopped um previously here for Shiba Inu uh, when it went up all the way to 4,000 and, and tanked all the way back to 2,500. This was the area. So I charted that out. We'll see if on the four hour chart, it will able, be able to close above it. Uh, but in general, Bitcoin is dropping three and a half percent and uh, not at the low, not at 6,500, but we're seeing meme coins get destroyed here. Uh, Pepe down 18%, Doge down 10%, Bonk down 12%, AVAX down 6%. Uh, internet computer down 5%. So the whole market is selling off, right? And and Beam down 10%. SCI, which has been hot, down 10%. Uh, even Solana that was up, I think, 6 or 7% is now up only 1% today. It was almost at 200. So the market is selling off. Now, this, this could be all because of Book of Memes. Now, <laughs> if you haven't heard of it, it uh, just skyrocketed into a market cap. I think the market cap was like 1.5 billion. It's dropped a little bit now. Um, let's see, what does it say here on Dex Tools? 1.3 billion. You can see it was at 2.8 and now it's back to 1.8. So it's dropped off a little bit here. Um, this is in a three day period. It went from like 7 million to 1.5 billion. Uh, previously, I think uh, we also saw a top when Pepe was running, right? So Pepe was running and the market was selling off, if I remember correctly, also. And then people were referencing back then that that is usually a sign of a local top. Um, why? Because something like this creates massive FOMO uh, and then people start selling off assets <laughs> to try to catch the, the, the move, right? And then that triggers 
uh, liquidations that triggers all kinds of things that are happening uh, and you can see um, we have seen over the past four hours uh, not a lot of liquidations right um, so that's interesting so this means that because we haven't seen a lot of liquidations this is more selling right stop losses selling and not liquidations uh, and that's very interesting um and that it's you know like this all across the board that we are seeing here you can see boom right it's the, the big bubble here and everything else floki 15 percent everything's down um uh, with down 17.3 percent so out of boom everything is dropping uh and so uh this this is the situation here now you can look at it in in two kind of ways right um it says here what what part of the cycle is this right is it soul is a 185 a coin just ran to 1 billion market cap in a day timeline saying it's over what part of the cycle is this right uh, and we've talked about this and how the market prior to bitcoin having always has a sell off right uh, pre having correction is happening right potentially here historically this has always been the best buying opportunity remember that bitcoin is still in its parabolic phase now i don't know if this is a buying opportunity or not by the way but this is what elijah wrote here i think his name is elijah El elcha maybe i don't know elijah i'm gonna think i, I know i'm not sure that that's Ilya. i don't know um that that's how you write it but um uh previously right in the previous cycles we've always seen um i wanted this one uh, we always see a sell-off uh, prior to bitcoin having now we did not see um an all-time high prior to having this is a new a new scenario uh, but as you can see there was always a sell-off right and so for 4 2020 uh having of course we had and the halving was right after the pandemic so that was a big sell-off but even prior to the 2017 2016 having uh we had a sell-off uh and before that we had a sell-off and you can see there was predictions always for a sell-off running into having um so this is part of the game i know that a lot of people are new um we've seen i've seen these kinds of movements i've warned you about these kinds of movements uh this is nothing that i am too excited about uh, unless you are buying right if if you're for example you had a plan and your plan was to buy when it gets down to 2500 then great if you had a stop loss at 2500 then that was your plan right i cannot tell you what to do all i can tell you again is to give me a beautiful smile and smash the like button <laughs> um, but of course i don't know how low will it go right um but if i zoom out uh, shiba inu is up 157 percent in the last month right and i look at that like i said yesterday and the day before i don't for me personally i don't care if it's a 2500 or 2000 1500 or 1000 yes maybe it helps the views on the channel uh if it's going up uh, but for the most part for me for my investments it doesn't really matter uh, if i'm looking for an opportunity to buy maybe this would be a great buy opportunity for me personally but my buy order is at 500 we're still far away from that i haven't changed the buy order the buyer is still open i have that money allocated and i'm, I'm waiting i maybe it will happen maybe it done, doesn't you know what I'll do if it, we get to all-time highs again I'll I'll, I'll cancel it <laughs> you know I'll allocate it somewhere else yes I took money and I said okay I'm going to lock it in if it happens if it happens if it doesn't it doesn't right I have to have money in my account so that can uh so that can catch right um so we'll see if it gets to all-time high I'll cancel it because I think that would be a little bit too far away for now <laughs> Um, but it will be interesting to see how how low can it go now we've talked about these possibilities and i reminded you using our partner margex you can open a insurance position right uh insurance position is when you go the opposite direction so you sell the market uh it's the the button here is behind my head you can't see it, sell right you you sell the market and then potentially right if you have a situation like we have had now you were making money on that uh, sell position right um the short position and then you can do whatever you want you can buy more shiba inu you can you know buy a, a lamborghini i don't know <laughs> whatever your heart desires um but that's you know used as a insurance position um when you have a car right you have insurance if you don't get an accident then the insurance goes away same thing here i look at it like that if you have an insurance position then if it goes up the insurance position goes away 
And that's something that you have to take into consideration with the risk, right? It's a risk. It's a risk that the money goes away, right? Especially if you're using high leverage, uh, you could get liquidated uh, and your position could be uh, automatically closed, right? Uh, at market value, if you hit that level. Um, so there's risk, but could also make a lot of money. Historically, uh, someone that I know in, in 2020 flew to a different country uh, and they were afraid that there would be a market crash. They opened a, uh, a, a, a option position on the UVXY, which is basically the inverse of the, the uh, it's, it tracks the VIX, which is the fear index. And they made a lot of money on that. They sold it and then they bought the bottom of the market and the market started going back up. So they made a lot of money. They didn't sell their, their stocks and they made a lot of money uh, on the way up again. So they double, double made money, right? Um, so listen, it's it's a risk. You, you, you know, leverage is uh, very risky. You can lose all your position, but you can also use it as a tool of insurance, right? The link is in the description down below. Check it out if you want. If you don't, it's okay. I know it's, it's risky. Um, to use leverage and people, some people get addicted to it. Um, so just be careful with it. Please trade responsibly. You'll get $50 once you sign up and another 50, uh, once you deposit a hundred dollars, uh, for, tr for your commissions, right. For trading commissions. Uh, and if you use my code, you'll get another 20% uh, discount on those position, uh, commissions. Um, so link is in the description down below. You put it in the wallets, right? So everything is selling off now, right? Um, again, you have to decide what, how you feel. If I'm looking at the four hour chart here, um, and, and this is again, a swing position. If you're long-term investing in Shiba Inu, again, it doesn't matter to me specifically, to me, where the price is because I'm long-term investing. I'm not going to sell Shiba Inu at 4,000. I'm not gonna sell it at 5,000. That's just my personal trade plan. Maybe you got into a swing trade. Maybe you saw a TikTok video that said that Shiba Inu was going to go to $1 or something like that, um, Then you, and you're new and so, you know, it's good that you're here and you're good that you're listening and you're understanding that the market has some pullbacks and it's okay. It's natural. It's part of the process. Um, but we are going to have ups and downs, right? You have to have a plan in place. You have to get ready. You have to know, am I, if it drops, am I dollar costing average? If it drops, do I have an insurance position? If it, if it drops, I'm sitting on my hands and doing nothing. That's the op option as well. Again, I can't tell you what to do, but personally for me, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't look at the dollar amount of my portfolio. It doesn't really matter on a daily basis. It doesn't matter if yesterday it was at a million and today it's at 850,000. It doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm not selling those assets in that long-term portfolio. Swing trading, again, is different. Your swing trading, you have to have a plan, a, a, a nearsighted plan, meaning you have to plan, okay, if it goes up, 50%, what am I doing? If it goes up 100%, what am I doing? Uh, if it drops 15%, what am I doing, right? You have to have a plan and day trading is for, uh, you know stronger, right? You have to have even, you know, in the next hour, if it does this, what do I do? So you have to plan for everything. And yes, it's dropping off 16%, 17%. Uh, if I zoom out and I go three weeks back, we were at 1000. <laughs> so we're still up big. Uh, the stochastic full is on the bottom, right? So we relieved a lot of pressure. Um, sometimes these kinds of sell-offs are good. Um, you know, parabolic movements usually end with some kind of pullback like this. Um, in 2021, uh, we had that, uh, you know, 15, 16 day um, uh, movement until, right, Shiba Inu uh, skyrocketed again, right? Let's take a look here, right? If you remember. It went from the high, let's zoom in more, right? Good. This, we'll see if it, if it looks nice. Let's remove the, the lines. Here we go. From the high to the low, it went 33%. So not the kind of uh, low movement that we had this time, but <laughs> it was 15 days. Again, totally different market scenario. We were at the end of the bull market. Now we're at the beginning of the bull market. Um, so things are a lot more volatile. It kind of looks like what happened here, right? <laughs> How much was it from here to here, right? About 50% drop in seven days. Actually, it's kind of more reminiscing. Let's hope that it's not, <laughs> right? That it's not like this. Um, but again, this is uh, part of the market. This is part of the bull market, especially. Uh, these uh, massive pullbacks and it's not just Shiba Inu that's uh, selling off it's all of the market right 
So I'm not freaking out about it. Yeah, it's probably more than 30% uh, just from looking at it. 45%. So actually not that much more than that low point, which was 30%. I know 15% is a big deal, right? But you see, even then there was a 30% drop from the high. And this, the candles are a lot bigger now, but um, it's, it's an interesting scenario. On the daily, we did not hit the bottom yet, uh, but this is relieving a lot of pressure here for Shiba Inu. So it will be very interesting to see uh, where we go from here. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Again, let's try and do that experience. 3,000 likes on the video <laughs> and see where we can go. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. I'm not going to contact you in the comments or on Facebook or on TikTok or on Twitter. Nowhere asking you to send me money, to, to, um, to, to ask you to join a program. Nothing, okay? It's a scam. Not me, not other YouTubers, uh, not other people on Twitter. Nobody. Nobody's going to be selling you these uh, services. It's all scammers and they're going to take your money. So be very, very careful. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.